probably just got a notification from me. I tried to wait as long as I could to not wake you up. But without further ado, how about that? Sun coming up and the breeze coming in. It's a big day. It really is for Carnival. It's the first time in 16 months that both uh, the breeze and the vista are in port at the same time. The horizon it will also be at the Port of Miami. And so for the first time in 16 months, Carnival has three ships uh, in port, unloading passengers, and of course, loading passengers, including us. Uh, we're so excited, we really are. The Breeze uh, came in, she's the first to come in. Uh, her and the Vista played tag the whole day yesterday. They were out at sea together. Uh, the, the Vista was in front for some of the day. The Breeze came in first. Of course, she came in, if you're familiar with Galveston, she came in the channel here. She turned around right here, and you can see her. She is backing that aft up. Good morning, Kelly. How about this view, Kelly? How about that? Beautiful morning, a cool morning. As cool as it's gonna get. Beautiful sunrise, those. So the Vista, we expect to see it anytime. We really do. I thought we'd see it uh, before the breeze came in this morning. Um, we'll see here in a second, but how about this? Of course, the breeze, her first cruise was the 15th. She had the 15th, the 19th. She's uh, about to disembark the passengers here and she's leaving today again. A dream class of ship, the dream, the magic, the breeze. The breeze is the last class in that ship. Jay, Jay Eddie, this is for you, my friend. I know you're a breeze fan, and we are too. I will probably say my favorite ship in the Carnival fleet is a hundred yards from me. How about that site? There are some people out this morning on their balconies looking out, thinking about their travel plans probably for today. Hope they had a great cruise. There's crew waving to us upstairs. Absolutely beautiful site, it really is. I can see through the windows up there, there's people enjoying breakfast. Before heading out for the day, people on their balconies waving at us. Even got a couple of runners up there. How about that? So Breeze is coming in and she will go to the furthest terminal. I'll show you here, let's uh, pan over. So she's gonna go down, down here. The Vista will be right here. And of course I'm at the Harbor House. Excellent stay. We, we talked about the Harbor House in our video uh, last night. Had an excellent stay at Harbor House. It is, it is a, just a short walk, it really is. go look at her come in more people coming out and about realizing that uh, they're they're at port they're at home She is looking the other direction. We'll wait till we see the front of the ship here. Moving at a good pace now. She was slow to kind of come in. She's moving along now pretty good. See some officers there on the bridge. Cool is that? 
absolutely beautiful. The city last night was buzzing, it really was. There's thousands of, of course, tourists here for the summer, but thousands of cruise passengers with the breeze uh, being in today, the Vista. These are, this is the most amount of cruise passengers that's been in Galveston for a night before the cruise in 16 months. And so we went out several places, hopped around, and really everywhere we went, uh, Someone was wearing a t-shirt, someone had beads on. Uh, it was really, really cool. You knew that they were going on a cruise. We met all kinds of new people. It was really cool. So she's backing, she's backing up, backing the aft up. We're excited, absolutely excited. You see, you see that white thing right there and that white thing right there? Those are hot tubs if you've never been on the breeze. Deck five that than that they're hot tubs it's one of my favorite parts about the breeze is you don't have to be up on the high deck you can be down low and a lot of times the first two or three days there's nobody in those hot tubs so as we turn let's turn this way still getting used to all of our new uh equipment here how about that sunrise i'm telling you we should and i'm looking hard we should see the Vista literally any time. Don't see her yet. I'm sure she's, uh, you see her on cruise cam probably, webcams. But don't see her yet. So let's do this. Let's chat. Harbor House behind me. See if I can get it here. Amanda's still asleep. I told you she would be. <laughs> told you she would be. She's sleeping. I did not even wake her up when I got up to get out of bed. Did a pretty good job. Um, we are, let's turn this around. You see me enough every single day. So we're gonna eat breakfast. We've got some people to meet, so I'm trying to get the right shot there. We've got some people to meet for breakfast, two different groups of people actually. One's at Starbucks, which is really, really close. Um, people that we want to meet and say hello to, they're fellow Islanders, they're subscribers. We can't wait to meet them. Uh, the ships, of course, are on time this week. They've been late the last couple of weeks. We're excited that they're on time, of course, because it's our week. Uh, we'll be selfish in that regard, I guess, if we have to. But we are going to head to embarkation uh, hey, Robin. Good morning. Good morning. David's going to be on the breeze at the end of August. That will fly by. You will be on the breeze very, very soon. Uh, and a beautiful shot of her this morning. In early. In port early, really. And she's, I'd say, in uh, about seven or eight minutes, she'll be secured. She'll be at her terminal. They'll be going through all the protocols and the checklists that they have to, to uh, start uh, getting people off the ship. Tom and Debbie, good morning. You're in Florida. I did hear uh, the, about the 11th, uh, 11th Circuit there and their decision yesterday. Um, let me scroll up here. Yeah, so you, you guys know I followed that Florida case so close. Um, even when uh, some thought that it was a win last week for the CDC, I said, not so fast, my friend. It was a two to one decision just to have the stay put in place. And hey, bonehead truckers, hope you're doing well in Florida. Um, but it was two to one just to keep the stay, which I thought was interesting anyway. There's one judge who said no, not even to keep the stay. That's, you know, uh, but here they go. They, they've changed their mind. I don't know if I've ever seen anything like this, that less than a week later, the same three judges turn around and say, we change our mind. Uh oh. There we go. Sorry about that. Again, new equipment. Um, so yeah, it was uh, that was interesting. David, thank you so much. I will tell Amanda that super chat is for her to spend on board. She wants to get a massage today. Is that possible? We're going to see. I don't know what's happening with this. Let's see. I apologize. You have to hold it there. 
anyway, thank you for that, David, the super chat. We appreciate that very much. Um, so yeah, the, the CDC, uh, it's interesting. Um, all, well, so Robin asked about all three judges. We're not exactly sure, you know, where do we go from here? The judges do not have to hear the case if they don't want to, they don't have to pick it up. But as of now, where we're at now, uh, the CDC conditional sell order has no, it's their recommendations in Florida. They've gone from requirements uh, to recommendations for the state of Florida. And if that's true for the state of Florida, you can almost bet that Texas and others are going to do the same thing. So it was interesting. I haven't seen anything like that before where that uh, 11th circuit or any circuit court makes a decision like they did to keep a stay. And uh, less than a week later, they changed their minds. So very, very inter interesting it is. Let's see if I can get this settled here with my equipment. First time we've used it. Let me do this. Hang with me just a second here. It may get a little wonky here. Hang on. Hey, Bill. Let's see if this works. Okay, hang on, let me do this. Go sit down a second and figure this thing out. <laughs> For a second, you can look at me. Uh, sorry about that, guys. You guys know we bought uh, a lot of new equipment and we're figuring it out. We had to charge everything and we've done some test runs. <laughs> we're gonna keep, I gotta look into the CDC decision some more and what it means uh, because the the statements from the CDC, you know, the, those, these initial statements last night, almost make it sound like they're gonna be done. They're, the judges made their decision and they said, we're gonna continue to work with the cruise industry to make sure they're safe. It's like, well, are, you, are you done? Are you giving up? Are you happy with the judge's decision? So we'll see, we really will. Let's see this here. If this will work. Okay. Hang on, guys. Hang on. See if this will come back up. If not, I'm going to hold it manually. Orientation. If I do that right there, perfect. Okay, there we go. Sorry, 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 sorry. Um, that's better though. Robin, thank you so much. Oh my goodness. Amanda, she's excited. She really is. She's a sleeper, so she's sleeping. Robin, thank you for the super chat. Amanda's going to get her massage today she's going to get another one i've told her you can it's yours i want you to be spoiled i really do so i appreciate that very much so the breeze just to catch everybody up the breeze is behind us and almost docked uh the vista we still can't see the vista and she on on the map she's right behind her um jimbo good morning good morning that is absolutely great to hear the check-in tipped worked breeze through all the questions check in seconds after it opened 11 o'clock was the earliest they're gonna get you on board fast they really really will <laughs> hey Heidi I was just watching your live from last night when this popped up I'm gonna try to go live all I can I can promise you that as long as we have internet it's gonna be a really really awesome week it is hey Bill Bobby and I have a Miami Vice on sale always. I like it. I really do. Um, so, CDC news is going to be interesting to see what happens. So, uh, just some things today that I'm thinking about with the breeze in, the Vista coming in. I hope enough hands are available to help with both ships to get everyone off, to get luggage on. I'm sure 
everything will be fine. But that comes to my mind. Um, I thought it was interesting too today when you check in, log in, um, there's a new health questionnaire that has to be answered at the terminal. Um, some of you who are cruising soon, you've already done kind of your vaccine questionnaire, your vaccine question. You've also done um, your, if it's really close to your cruise, you've also done your, you know, have you been outside the United States in the last 14 days? And there's like four questions there. So um, I haven't heard about this one at the terminal. I'm not worried about it at all, but it does look like, and I've confirmed with a couple of other uh, passengers here this morning that there may be a new questionnaire or something enhanced uh, temperature screenings maybe something like that and of course it would make sense with what's going on with the new variant you know we talked about in a video earlier this week some things that could happen as a result of the variant getting all the sounds this morning James if the cruise lines continue to follow the CDC guidance in Florida will Florida sue them that's an interesting question. I did see uh, Michael Bailey with Royal Caribbean this morning. Uh, he shared an interesting article um, about this decision. And he said that Royal Caribbean is going to voluntarily abide by the current, basically, CSO. Um, the protocols that are in place, the port agreements are, I think, important. I think they're, it's, it's a great idea to have agreements with the port that you can come in no matter what happens on your ship, that there are plans in place if people need to get off the ship for medical reasons, how are you going to quarantine people who need to be quarantined. So some of that, I think, is good to stay in place. I really do. Uh, but it sounds like with vaccinations, too, the 95% uh, passenger, 98% crew, it sounds like Royal Caribbean, at least for the short time, is going to voluntarily stay with those recommendations. Will Florida sue if cruise lines enforce them? I don't know. Uh, the, the decision basically is that cruise lines now in Florida can determine what protocols they want to abide by and enact uh, to help prevent spread of COVID. That, that is the decision. If they choose to go by what they've been going by, it looks like it's working. You know, it may be it may be overreach, but it looks like it's working. We're, we've been cruising for almost a month now. No crazy story or breakout as much as the media maybe wants there to be. So if they voluntarily keep them in place because that's what they've chosen and that's what's already in place, that's what the crew is trained on, that's what's been communicated to passengers, maybe they keep it. I don't think necessarily Florida would sue the cruise lines if they keep doing them. The big question though is the vaccine passport, your vaccine card. Um, celebrities done a really good job and Royal Caribbean has done a good job of making it uh, voluntary. Okay. Um, you know, saying basically that uh, if you don't, you know, you don't have to show us your vac vaccine card if you don't want to, but if you don't, you will be considered unvaccinated. And if you're considered unvaccinated, you have limited access to fill in the blank, the casino, to shows, to dining, um, and maybe you have to wear a face mask and our crew will know if you are unvaccinated. And so that gives incentive for those who are vaccinated to show their card um, voluntarily even though it's not. So it will be interesting. And Robin's exactly right. It comes down to uh, families, you know, and kids cruising. There was a, a lot of people last night at our meet and greet. And one, one of the things they're excited about is there's not going to be very many kids cruising because of the current, uh, current rules and regulations. But um, you have cruise lines like Disney who have, they've done test sellings the last week uh, but they haven't really ramped up because their business is family and kids. And so um, maybe they, I don't know, maybe they do something different. Susan, good morning. And it is a absolutely just stunning day. Let me, let me show you here. I got everything fixed. Let me show you what we've got going on in the current situation. Let's scroll this way first. Told you about seven or eight minutes, the breeze would be home, safe. She is. Looks like she's there and almost secured. She looks like she's about, it's further than I would think it'd be, probably 50 feet uh, 
from those lines being uh, casted and tied up, secured. And this, this sunrise is just unreal. Susan, did you sleep or were you like the kid waiting for Santa? You put it perfectly, Susan. I, it was like Christmas Eve. I slept really good from about 11.30 to three o'clock on the nose. I woke up at three o'clock this morning and knew that was it. That's all the rest I'm going to get. I slept hard then, and I've been up since three, just waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. Look at the sunrise. I know that's probably bright, uh, not doing it justice at all, but my goodness. How about this? Look at those palm trees. Look at the palm trees. Absolutely beautiful. Sun is big and bright this morning. I mean, it looks like a Caribbean sun. Radio, good morning. Phone fell again. I don't know what, what's up with that. Good morning, good morning. So, Susan, uh, so the hotel is worth it if cruising from Galveston, a million and one percent. If you're cruising from Galveston, I would absolutely uh, recommend the Harbor House. There are only 42 rooms. 42 rooms is all they have. It's a boutique hotel. Um, and it is a little bit pricey because of that. But I'm telling you, um, it is, it's, it's beautiful. And it's, it's within walking. They, they, they have a shuttle. You can park here with a car if you want to. There is a fee. I'm not sure the fee because we did not drive. But they have a shuttle, even if you flew in, that you could take or you can walk. Uh, if you're taking the breeze, it will be a little bit of a walk, um, but you can see the terminal. I mean, she's, and that's the furthest one. The Vista will be, will be between me and the breeze uh, when she gets there. So it's totally worth uh, paying and walking uh, 200, well, 200 yards maybe, I would say, um, for that. Absolutely. A little bit more expensive, but totally, totally worth it. Birds are waking up. Let me, let me sit down here and catch up on some chats. See what we got. It is an absolutely beautiful cruise day. Kendra, your family, you're almost to the port. You're going on the breeze. Kendra, she just got here for you. Uh, she's here and ready for you <laughs> so that is the absolute great news uh, hope your check-in and embarkation go so well and smooth lynn it is a beautiful cruise day the uh the heat is already starting the high is 100 degrees today but uh it was really cool before the, su the sun came up now the sun is up and i'm telling you it's just a just a huge big orange ball in the sky today it really is Jimbo's right. There's no better feeling than uh, those first steps you take into your cabin on embarkation day. Remember, 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 when you walk into your cabin on embarkation day, take pictures of your cabin. Take them, take them right then before all the paper gets there, before clothes are on the floor. Um, when you step in, just go ahead and take a minute or 90 seconds and take those pictures. Absolutely. Here we go. Susan, thank you so much. Thank you uh, for the super chat. That means absolutely so much to us. We appreciate that uh, so much. Here we go. Uh, Kendra, I'm so excited. Your last cruise is March 2019. Oh my goodness, it's gonna be awesome. It really is. Bill, can you give a ballpark of how much Harbor House is? From May till August, it runs about 250 a night. Um, again, there's restaurants here that you, you do not have to leave if you did not want to. You could stay right here and, uh, and eat at uh, the Strand uh, is right here. So you, you could have that. You could be just fine there. Um, and then, of course, you're not going to pay for a taxi or an Uber. Um, let's see if this works. Oh, my equipment keeps wanting to fail me. I don't know why. Uh, 
David, you just bought me my first drink right there. <laughs> David said, for you, Derek, get a cool adult beverage and enjoy. Thanks for all you do. David, thank you so much for that super chat. I will enjoy a drink today when I walk on. It's hard to even imagine. Even though I'm sitting here looking, I'm just, I mean, sitting here looking at the breeze and it's still just surreal to think I'm going to board a cruise ship in four hours. But David, I'm going to board the cruise ship and I'm going to get me a drink. <laughs> I appreciate you for that super chat and the drink. And I will give you a nice cheers. I can promise you that. Okay, give me a minute here. Let me figure out this equipment. It wants to fall back down. So I'm going to turn this back off. Turn it back on. See if she'll reset for me. There she goes. Now push this button twice, and then she works. If she can only keep on working. Sorry about that, uh, everybody. Let's see, Heidi. We had a great trip. A tip for your cabin from one of our room stewards: let the water run in the sink or shower for a few minutes. If you're going to have any plumbing issues, you'll know then. That is that is awesome. I fell again. Uh, that it really is awesome. That's a uh, that's a good tip. I've never heard of that. Bill, do they have a shuttle from airport or do you have to take a taxi? You can take a Uber if you would like. They're 80 to to $100 or uh, today, this trip, we used a brand new um, service. Um, it's a small group, honestly, of, of moms, uh, working moms at that, um, that uh, have started a little service. And so they, they brought us from Houston Hobby to, uh, the Harbor House for $50. That's a steal. It really is. But it's about a 40 minute drive from Hobby. If you're flying into Bush, it's even further than that. But absolutely worth it. Still no Vista yet. Hoping maybe soon. Let me try this this uh, camera one more time. Hang on, it's gonna be bouncy a second. Let's see if I can get it to work. Oh no, it works. Look at there. Guys, look at that sun. I mean, it is just unreal today. Well, I have, we've been on, uh, I don't know how many, we've been on 15-ish cruises with Carnival. And I do not remember a day where I woke up and the dadgum sun was, took up half the sky. <laughs> and it is releasing heat, I can tell you that. The stabilizer you bought, you bought and tried out. Thank you, Susan. I'm using it now. Um, and there's some tricks I still have to figure out. It kind of went kaput on me this morning, but it's working right now. So let's uh let's take a walk. Take a walk, take a walk, take a walk. Walk over the chain. A uh, harbor house usually has breakfast uh up here this is i'm on the back side of the harbor house that right there is the harbor house the back side of it but they're not serving breakfast currently because everything going on but uh you guys can see literally if you stay at harbor house you get out of your room there are rooms right there okay um you can literally get out of your room and walk outside to right here i mean it's a it's worth it for the experience. Let's see, that's the breeze. She is in and will be getting refueled very soon. The Vista, let me get here first and I will turn this thing around. The Vista is going to come in, of course, right over here. And I just, oh, looky here, maybe. Looky there, way off in the distance. You guys might not be able to look at that right there. The Carnival Vista. Right there. How about that? So, cruise mapping shows Vista just about to enter the channel. Tommy and Debbie, thank you. And uh, cruise mapping, they are exactly right. Um, from there, you can see her. You can see her. Um, it will be probably 20 minutes before she she's here. But look at that view. I'm telling you. 
the breeze it's been interesting to see um, the last couple of weeks the Vista has come in uh, the channel and simply went right to her terminal went home I mean it's like she was uh it's midnight at her curfew and she's a teenager and had to get home to her parents there goes the stabilizer again we'll figure that out um, but she's gonna dock right there uh, but the breeze backed in so we'll see what the the Vista does the Vista she may back in or she may she may pull right on in it'll be interesting to see honestly but it does take some time from where she's at to get to the channel how about that though A beautiful sight Mm. Yep, she's rolling in. Rolling in. Absolutely. The weather's just, I'm telling you, it's, it is warming up. But when you can, after what we've lived through the last 16 months, and I know all of us have, have gone through different things. Um, it's, 2020 was a rough year. The first part of 2021 was a rough year. Um, been through a lot with... Uh, my mom my mom had covid she's she lives in a nursing home she had covid she had double pneumonia and she had sepsis all in a matter of two months of course uh, she had staff in her leg and you guys have been praying for her for several months and i'm so happy to say that she's doing better uh, she really is we'll find out in probably three weeks if she can keep her leg um, i myself had covid had a stint with it in late january and to be standing here uh, with the, the breeze, the salty air, seeing the sensation yesterday, seeing the breeze this morning and looking out and seeing the vista uh, with this sunrise is just, you can't make it up. Sometimes a uh, higher being knows what you need more than you do. And that's exactly what's happened this morning. Okay, one more time, let me fix this equipment. I'm gonna have to figure it out when I get back to the room. Now it works, there we go. I just gotta, I apologize really. I should, I should be a lot better at this than what I am. But this is, I'm telling you, it's brand new stuff. How about that? So that right there is the Vista, let's turn around here just to see if the breeze has indeed, oh, she's close. I don't see, I watched her videos this morning from yesterday. Thanks for the tip. Sorry, the chats went away. Um, I would definitely be trying it out, awesome. Magic in September. Susan, there are not any other hotels nearby. Yep. Um, there's not. This is the closest and it is the only. The other hotels, most of them are on the other side of Galveston, which is about a mile and a half uh, on Seawall Boulevard. They're on Seawall. There it goes again. I'll figure it out. I'm sorry, guys. Kelly, thank you for that. Heidi, thank you for those thoughts on mom. She's a uh, no lie, a doctor called us in when she had COVID and double pneumonia, and literally we we said her goodbyes. We li literally said goodbye. Uh, she said, "It's hard to even say." She said goodbye to us. We thought that was that was it, and uh, she pulled through. She did. We live another day. Thank you, Susan. The breeze, she's still making her way. Her lines look like they are, they're, they've cast the lines, but you can see from the funnel there, they're still trying to propel ever closer there uh, to the terminal, to the dock. And you can see Carnival Vista has made her turn into the channel. 
She has. So our plan, I know, I know I talked about embarkation just a little bit ago. I'm getting all kinds of notifications now as some other cruisers go live that were um, on Facebook that we're cruising with. Let me grab this right here. Um, embarkation, we have 10.30. Uh, let me do this for just one second. Let you see me this morning. I still have to get in the shower. I hope you can see the sweat. I'm starting to sweat, which is good. That's the way it's supposed to be, right? Um, embarkation is 1030, uh, zone A01. How about that, Harbor House? A01, we will go live either in the terminal, once we've checked in, gone through security, answered maybe this new health questionnaire, something that maybe they have new for us. Uh, we'll either go live in the terminal or once we get on board and get a drink, <laughs> Uh, we will sit down and go live there just to give everyone a review of embarkation, what it looked like, what we went through, uh, and how quick it was. We hope it is quick. Jimbo, you're with family. All good. You have that equipment. Master no time. I appreciate that. Thank you, Lynn, for your comment about mom. She's a fighter. She's been through so much in life. Uh, not even 60 years old, but she, she's lived in full-term care for six years. Um, body felt her at a young age but she has the greatest outlook on life uh, I could learn I need to learn so much from her because she's always positive cruise adventures with JC have fun we are off here now waiting a oh, look at there that is awesome look at these chats back up they disappear after a period of time you have a wonderful time cruise director cookie was great that is awesome to hear let's go back around now just to see mama just text me are you up yet mama you know me better than that <laughs> I'll FaceTime her here in just a little bit. Looky, looky, looky. Unreal. Coming into the channel. Absolutely beautiful. Let me turn it this way. One second. Okay, it's gonna work again for me for a few minutes. I'll have to look look up why it keeps falling. Hey, Bobby, hope you're having a great morning. Carnival Vista making her way in. She may or may not turn around right here. Uh, the last two weeks, she has not. She has just, she's just pulled in right here. Uh, but she might turn around and back in. You just never know, you don't. It depends sometimes on traffic. It depends on timing. Um, if they're a little bit late, a lot of times they'll pull in. That's the fastest way to get in. If they're early, which they're uh, they're on time, I would say. They're not early. Uh, the breeze was a little bit. Um, but if they're on time, they'll go ahead and turn around. That way, uh, when it's time to go, then we can go. What a beautiful morning, I'm telling you. And Amanda still asleep i keep waiting for someone to come up from behind me and knowing amanda she would uh she'd probably push me in <laughs> or act like she was going to anyway breeze is close i see tight lines on the breeze if you're joining the breeze she it looks like for sure is secure she's anchored i see 18 wheelers waiting to replenish food and drinks i see luggage trucks and forklifts starting to make her way to the breeze so if you're selling the breeze literally they are doing the prep work to get everyone off so you can get on how awesome is that harbor house uh, does not have airport shuttle but I do have a contact, a group of moms, basically, that uh, they will they'll pick you up from Houston Hobby for $50, which is still Uber. And a lot of times you need Uber XL because your luggage, it's, it's $80 to $100. So uh, this group that we used, and I can share their information, uh, when I have their direct contact information, it's up in the room. Um, I'll share it and that's the best 50 bucks for a 40 minute drive um, is is really really good but this is the Harbor House the windows you see the six windows here are suites okay um, and they have both a view like you see here 
Uh, and then of course these, these two suites have windows on this side. So people waking up this morning, if they look out their windows that are on this side, they can see the breeze. They'll be able to see the Vista here in just a little bit. Absolutely worth it. I'm telling you the Harbor house, I know it's, it's expensive, uh, but it's absolutely worth it. I woke up this morning and walked out. I mean, literally in two minutes I was out here. And it's nice too, there's restaurants. So here's Katie's, I'll show you this too. So Katie's is a well-known restaurant. I'm trying to see my finger, the sun. So Katie's is right here, this restaurant right here. It's hard to see because of the sun. It's a nice local seafood restaurant. And then I'll walk around here for just a second. Pier 21. Show you a couple things while the Vista comes in. Good morning. People getting up and getting after. There's a Starbucks across the street. Okay, so there's a Harbor, a Harborside Drive. This is Willie G's. Have a happy hour from like 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. Willie G's right here. And this, there's an entry to the Harbor House. I mean, right here. Uh, if you're coming with a family, they do uh, sunset tours and dolphin tours. Uh, all day uh, from this group of boats right here. I don't know the prices. I do know that on the sunset tours, they leave at seven o'clock and it's bring your own beer. Okay, so um, let's see, bring up the chat. I know I'm missing some chats. The Twisted Intent, I'm right next to Willie G's, 50 yards from it. Um, but if you're coming with family, want to do a dolphin tour, I mean, you, you're not taking an Uber. If you stay at the Harbor House, <laughs> you're that right there is the entry to Harbor House. So the Strand, the Strand is one block right there. Downtown, all kinds of restaurants and shops. Um, Willie G's, happy hour till seven is what they're known for. Good food too, but happy hour. Um, and then if you want to, if you get here a day early, want to do an activity, it is right here. And you're 200 yards from, uh, from your ship. The morning of we're gonna walk they have a free they have a shuttle you can you know they, you tip uh, but they have a shuttle if you don't want to walk or can't walk uh, they will shuttle you over there but listen I'm telling you let me walk out here so we can see uh, show you here's a breeze the vista is gonna be right here so you you can see we're gonna walk on the other side here of Willie G's we're gonna walk down here there's a sidewalk and we're gonna enter the terminal right over here so it's it's close if you're if you're on the fence about Harbor House I've cruised out of Galveston probably 10 times this is my first time to stay and I'll, this is where we're gonna stay we might as well uh, book residency <laughs> uh, but Amanda good old Amanda she's sleeping right there she is asleep there's three stories three stories one two three I'm gonna tell you the tip. I told you in the live video yesterday, room 302, sorry, 304, 304, 306. If you book Harbor House, call the week before and you'll, you'll have to pay for Harbor View. There's, you pay for Harbor View or the other side, of course it's cheaper. Pay for the Harbor View, call a week before, say, could I please have room 302 or 306? Why do you want these two? They're the furthest west, so you have the best view of the ships literally when amanda wakes up she will look out her window and it, it will look like the uh, vista is about to smack her in the face or if the vista pulls in straight she's gonna be a, see a big old aft right in her face let me show you this uh-oh vista headed this way Okay, I'll catch up on chats real quick. I can't imagine how much your excitement is building watching your ship come in as opposed to just being docked. You're exactly right, I'm telling you. People keep saying, what's the first thing you're gonna do? And I'm like, I don't know. There's a, I have a 1A and a 1B and a 1C. I don't know what my first thing is gonna, gonna do. I don't, I don't know. I'm excited. David's been on the Dolphin Tour and they let my daughter drive the boat. How cool is that? 
it really is a family type of atmosphere. A lot of families stayed here and went on the cruises last night. Lynn, I will be on her in two weeks. I'm going to save some fun for you, Lynn, I promise. And I will be crying. Absolutely. Yep, you're going to be crying. I might cry today. I mean, she's going to make fun of me, but I might do it. <clears throat> Jay, good morning, Jay. Good morning. A big thanks to Jay. I'll be honest. I'm, I'm encouraging you to book Harbor House, but Jay encouraged me to book it. And he's telling me the same things I'm telling you. It is worth it. Do it. Don't worry about the extra 50 or $100 that it costs compared to some other hotels that are a mile and a half away and that you have to Uber or drive to. They do have parking. The parking's right over there if you need it, but we flew in. But Jay, good morning. Thank you so much for encouraging me to book the Harbor House. And I'll catch you up, Jay, as the Vista rolls in. It's been just a of a beautiful morning you couldn't even make it up if you got to choose the day the template of the day start from something blank you could not have made up how beautiful it is today okay let's turn our attention so it looks like she's gonna pull right on in I told you the last couple of weeks it used to it was a uh, I mean, it was just a standard practice. She backed in. Uh, the Vista has passed the point now in the channel where she would have turned around. So the Vista is not turning around today. There it goes again. She's not going to. Um, yes, I saw the breeze dock, Jay. She came right by here. She backed in. Uh, it was absolutely beautiful. Seamless, effortless. She was early. Um, but the Vista, instead of backing in like the breeze, uh, the Vista is gonna go right straight forward ahead. And when she pulls in and is secured, we will see her aft. I'm okay with that, because that means she gets here quicker. If she backs up, it takes a little time. Let me do this real quick, guys, I'm sorry. Locks in, I push one button two times, and then it turns for me, how about that? It just doesn't stay all the time. I'll figure it out. So yeah, this is a lot quicker because usually um, if she wanted to turn around and be in this area here, it takes longer, of course, to turn around. She's not going to. She said, I see Derek Phillips and I see Island Time. I see all those Islanders over there and they're waiting for me and they've been patient. So I'm going to get there as soon as I can. Susan, we are on the Vista today. We are on the Vista. We love the breeze. The Vista, she's got a work cut out. The breeze is my favorite ship in the Carnival family. I've not been on the Vista though, so she's got a work cut out for her. And that's why, phone f fell again. That's why she is trying to get here. She said, I want to, I want to prove to you that I'm your favorite ship. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see if it happens. I'm open, show me what you got. She's getting close, really close. It's awesome news. I'll just turn one more time here just to see, because I know there are many. Uh, and let me take a chance too. If you haven't uh, liked this video, please like it. And if you are not an Islander, you have not subscribed to this channel, please, please, please consider doing so. We are a group of cruisers, a group community uh, that love each other, that love cruising, that discuss cruising, ports, uh, cruise tips, but life as well that we really are a community hey jen you will we're gonna meet we're gonna meet i promise you that please uh, like the video and consider subscribing if you have not there's a yacht also i have to show you when i get back up to my room the owner of the houston astros is in town he owns several restaurants including willie g's and uh he's in town so his yacht you can see the bow Let's see if I can point it out to you right there. I'll show it to you later. For now, how about this? Carnival Vista finishing her third selling. Let me try, let me try this one more time just because it's so much easier if I use that right there. And do that. 
I don't know how long it's gonna stay, but I've gotta, gotta look up some troubleshooting tips. How about that, guys? I hope that the scene is as beautiful where you're at as where I'm at. I mean, it is unreal. It really, really is. Vista coming ahead. She looks beautiful. The breeze, I'll be honest with you, I was surprised and I saw this on the webcams on the 15th. David Boo Astros, go Rangers. Oh, goodness. Uh, she's got some rust on her. I thought they'd have cleaned her up a little bit, you know, give that facelift uh, a little bit. Um, but they didn't. Uh, the, the Vista, though, is immaculate. I mean, even when you, we expect rust, you know, around the anchor some, you know, when we drop the anchor, we expect some rust there because of uh, the damage that's done there sometimes and just the, the use of the anchor. She doesn't have any. She is immaculate. Wow. Absolutely beautiful. And she is, I'll, I'll be honest with you, uh, I've seen her before at ports. Uh, thank you, Bill, for that comment. This is so cool watching direct. Yeah, we're direct. I mean, this is the Harbor House. If you're sleeping up here, which Amanda is, she can look out this window if she wanted to see the, the ship. Um, but I will say this too, uh, seeing the breeze and the Vista, the breeze is a big ship as well. And you know, it's a newer class of ship that with a dream class, but there is now a Vista class. Now we've got Mardi Gras, but there is a noticeable size difference. Even though the breeze is huge, I'm telling you the Vista, you can tell. I mean, I just saw the breeze roll in, same perspective um, 20 minutes ago. Can you park at Harbor House for free? You can. You can. Well, not, uh, there's parking. Not at, at Harbor House, there's uh, there's arms. Uh, it's for, for uh, customers only, but there's another parking lot that's free right beside it. And you can come uh, to Pier 21 and see it. So how about this shot? And oh my goodness, it fell. But I'm going to hold it for you. Right here. How about that right there? Lots of people on their balconies. The breeze came in earlier and uh, it was, you know, people still sleeping. Vista, there's a lot of people, a lot of people out. Wow. It's, uh, it's masterful. It's hard, it's hard to have words, really. Jimbo, close. I mean, I'm giving you a fever. I know. Yeah, you are, uh, I'd say that she's, you know, 100, 125 yards off the water or from me. So, so close. And all you have to do is wake up, put some clothes on. Yeah, the seagulls. See, they have been so active this morning. It, it, it was hot yesterday, but it really cooled off. I don't know if that gave them some energy. But they, they do. They have been active all morning and talking to us, telling us good morning. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. You see how close, you see where the breeze is out there to the left of your screen. The Vista will uh, be secured. Uh, in her terminal, which is between me and the breeze. So she is she is so close to the harbor house. It's just, it is unreal. I can see through the windows again, people eating breakfast on Lido. I can literally see, Susan says, what a sight. Renee just booked the harbor. Yep, just you just booked it. Look at there. <laughs> Radio, good morning. I can literally see crew members, you know how they carry trays uh, up there, up by their head, you know, when people are done. I can literally see them through the window working to, to clear tables, to carry trays. I mean, it is unreal. I do see a couple, a couple people in their swimsuits, maybe getting in a last second swim or some last minute sun. But wow, she is in a... Uh, I'm telling you, she is in beautiful shape. She really is. I don't know if they've, well, they've had to do the touch up paint, but she's just in, she's in beautiful shape. She really is. And I'll catch up on chat here in a second. I'm literally, I'm, I'm not even looking at my phone. I had to look to make sure that I'm, uh, 
I'm pointing it where, I, where I'm looking because I'm looking with my own eyes as the Vista, beautiful Vista class of ships, so widely popular. Vista Horizon and Panorama. Remember the Panorama's, she's brand new. She's a year old. She's been out of service the last year and a half more than she was in service uh, when she was first commissioned. Beautiful class of ship and we have, there's Jay, they're opening the dock doors already. They are, they are. So here's, I mean, she is, she's gonna make her way in dock. Been on the Vista. It's nice, but I really like the Breeze, still my favorite. So see, that's what, uh, Breeze is my favorite. The Vista's got her, she got work cut out for her. Let's turn around here. She's gonna, she's gonna dock. Let me just, it's gonna be shaky for just a second. So she, this right here, that's where she's headed. She docks right there and, my, and I'm standing at my hotel. So there's the aft. Remember, we have Havana. Never had Havana before. And on this class of ship, uh, it's gonna be just remarkable. Uh, after not cruising for so long to get an experience like Havana. It's gonna be, uh, <laughs> I'm excited to get on. And we're looking at, we're looking at three hours. I mean, Jay's been on both um, Vista and the Breeze. And Breeze is still his favorite. And Kendra, that's right. Look at that tail. And look at that aft. She ain't backing it up today. That's okay though. But look at that. Really is amazing, amazing, amazing. So she's making her way. You can tell she's inching ever closer there. Um, she's gonna have to swing. Exactly, nice aft, Jay says. She's gonna have to swing that aft around now. She's gonna have to swing it around to, there are, I already see, uh, uh, looks like they, it's got goods actually out of the way. Thing on again. Sorry, it's going to be. But look at that. There's the breeze to your left. There's the Vista. And you're going to see the Vista cross over uh, the bow of the breeze as she makes her way. And look at that. Choose fun she's fun we've done it she might be blocking my signal you might be right but how about that shot right there the first board it just happens to be galveston two ships the breeze and the vita they have passengers on them right now they're both going to uh, disembark passengers and embark for the first time, two ships in U.S. ports are here at the same time, and you're seeing it. And the third ship of the day, it's gonna be a boat. The pilot boat, the pilot's done his job, he's coming back in. Okay, guys, check out the aft. Check out the Vista is almost eclipsed now. You can't even see the breeze. Say goodbye to her. You can see her bridge just a little bit. But she's gonna make her way. She's gotta hey, she gotta swing that thing. She gotta swing that thing all the way here. She's gonna do it. She's real honestly, she's moving a lot uh, faster uh, than I would think she is, but she's making her way. Thanks to these guys right here. They do awesome, awesome work for all of us cruisers. Not many people realize the help that, you know, the local port authority has uh, on cruising, but they do an awesome job getting us in here and out here safely. Man, she's moving along. Unbelievable. So those of you not familiar with Havana, this deck right here, you can see the T-keys barely. See the T-keys? 
There's an infinity pool right here. There's the glass of the infinity pool. If you book a Havana cabin, you have access to the Havana pool. Uh, there's two hot tubs, there's loungers. It's very limited access. It is a little bit, it's more expensive. They have interiors, they have balconies, which is the Havana Cabana. Uh, it's a non-traditional balcony, so look it up before you book it. And they have suites. Um, but it is a, it's a specialty. It's something you might splurge on every once in a while. We did it for this one. Vista, so she's really, now she's slowed down uh, propelling in place. She stopped, of course, her forward momentum. She's gone as forward as she needs to go. She needs to go. She's getting closer. She's going. And sorry, I will catch up on chat here in just a minute, I promise. I'm, <laughs> I'm bad about just watching with my two eyes instead of watching my phone. Uh, David, if you're asking what room for the ship, we are in, uh, we're in a Havana interior. We just went with the interior. Heidi got us a Havana cabana on the Mardi Gras. Their awesome travel agent got me dead center. How about that, Heidi? Unreal. It's gonna be an experience that you're not gonna forget. Jimbo, you are so welcome for sharing it. You've never seen a ship come in like this and so close. You are so welcome. I told you guys that I would do every single thing that I can to do it. And uh, I wanted to see it, but I also wanted to share it. And so I hope you're enjoying it just as much as we are. I do want to apologize. I know I went on early. It was 620, I always ask you guys to subscribe and to ring the bell to get notifications when I go live. And literally, it was in my thought process. Before I hit live this morning, I thought this is about to send a notification to people that it's uh, 730 their time on the East Coast, 630 um, Central Time. And I hated to wake anybody up, but uh, I had to share it with you. I really did. You've waited just like I have. And for some of you, you're cruising a couple of weeks. For some of you guys, you're, you're cruising a couple of months, and I hope you got something out of it. The casino host looked out the window and saw you, so he ordered a extra, an extra Brinks truck. Robin, thank you for that, and I hope he did just that. I hope that Brinks truck is coming, and uh, it goes in my pocketbook. We're going to find out very soon. Jay, I'm sorry. I hope you were ready to get up. I, I do hope you're ready to get up. I knew it whenever I was about to do it, but I thought, man, I thought about just recording it and uh, posting it later, but then we don't share the experience. You know, if I just sit here and record it, post it later, if I go live, we can share the experience together. And that's, I mean, that's, <laughs> that's what I enjoy. Jumbo, this view is really getting me excited. My wife and I have extended aft balcony of the Mardi Gras in two stinking weeks. Good Lord. You're almost there. Enjoy the anticipation. Some of the most fun time is the anticipation of everything. It really is. Glad that, uh, glad you're enjoying it. Kelly, I've been waiting since 6 a.m. Eastern time for you to go live. I, I was up at 3 a.m. Central time. Should have gone live then. Lynn can send me on the webcam, which is right up there. Right up there. <laughs> Cruising in January, you were bringing us a taste of it early. Thank you, Jay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Plan is to, of course, have a video sometime during, M oh my goodness. I just heard the ding, ding. I hadn't heard that in a long time. Uh, plan is to go live again uh, sometime during embarkation process. And it, it may be in the terminal and maybe once we get on the ship. And then let me do, let me, it's going to be shaky. Hang on guys, just a second. It just makes it easier and a more, a better experience once it works. 10 more seconds, five more seconds, four, three, two, one. Look at there. Okay, so, gosh, look at that. She's making her way. Um, I, we will bring you the sell away party uh, just like this. Uh, and I will keep it on until my battery dies or my AT&T service um, goes dead. 
I have purchased premium Wi-Fi. It was well over $100. I never purchased premium before. We've done social media, of course, uh, to keep up with the kiddos. Purchased premium Wi-Fi in hopes of going live. Um, in the mornings, uh, maybe when there's more bandwidth. And so I hope to be able to do that, uh, bring you live videos and, and recaps of different uh, port days, sea days, port days, all of it. I'll do as much as you can, you know that. Again, if you're not, oh, here comes a swing. Look at her, rock those hips. I hope you're enjoying that like I am, and you can tell she is getting closer here, lining things up. Again, if you are not currently an Islander, you have not subscribed, there's a dolphin. I don't know if you just saw that right there. Dolphin just jump up out of the water. You're welcome, Lynn. You are more than welcome. Look at the dolphin, guys. Right there, where that water breaks. A big old dolphin jumping up. Here, Oh, here it comes. He's coming toward us. Um, if you're not an Islander, come be an Islander. Come subscribe. I'm not selling anything uh, besides merch, and that is by request. You'll hear more about that, but I'm not, I'm not getting you hooked and trying to push something on you. You know that. Still a good 20 yards. I was wondering if that dolphin would come up. I don't see him now. Yep, Jay, you saw the dolphin. He's still over there. Yep, he's still over there. Two of them. How cool is that? There's your free uh, dolphin. Donald, let's go live real quick. We're, we're live, but let me turn this thing around. You should, you should catch me run, running towards the pier. <laughs> and be like, no, wait, wait. <laughs> we are live. This is up. Oh, here we go. It just went walkers on us. That's okay, though. Donald did an awesome job. He was the leader of our Facebook group. If you are not on a, on a Facebook roll call group with your crews, look up your Facebook roll call sure. group. Donald, you did an awesome job. Thanks, I appreciate it. Planning that. all kinds Thanks. of stuff. I tried to help. Work has been crazy, but I did I did try to help, and we are so excited to board, are we yeah, not? We are. We are super excited to get, get on this ship. Exactly. I need some beer, some drinks, some food. <laughs> and they're packing extra this week. Yes. They're going to load extra this they week. They are. Yep, they are. <laughs> A good deal. We we'll see you right. just a little bit, okay? Cool. Thanks. Good deal. Okay, let me uh, turn this here. Let me go back here. Right here. Turn it around. Right there. There we go. Really, if you're not on your Facebook groups, look up. You know, for this one, for instance, it was Carnival Vista, July 24th. And uh, if you if I search that, then I would find my Facebook group. So if you're not signed up on your Facebook groups, please, please do that. You'll have, it, it enhance your cruise experience. Jay, we did go to Willie G's yesterday. We did and had an awesome time at Willie G's. Happy hours till seven o'clock. I think you mentioned that to me, but I just forgot about it. But it was absolutely awesome. Willie G's is, so here's the terminal. Hotel, Amanda's window, right there. And for those of you that just joined, Willie G's, happy hour till 7 p.m. Dolphin Tour, Sunset Cruises, bring your own beer right here. All the more reason to stay at Harbor House. And then you got that. Vista closing in on, I'd say, 20 yards. 20 yards. Closing in fast. And if you can sleep in, you wake up, you look out your window if you have a harbor view, and you see that right there. It's unreal. No other port uh, is like it. I can tell you that. I love Port Canaveral. We cruise out of there often. You don't get that view. Dolphins still jumping up and down over there. What's going on? What's up, bud? How are you? Good, how you doing, man? I'm good. Really good, good really good. Andre. We're live, Derek. We're live. I'm watching y'all morning. There you go. Good morning, nice to meet you. Good to meet you. Y'all excited? Very excited. Very ready? ready? You ready? Uh, Got everything packed? Yes, sir. Didn't, Didn't forget anything? Didn't forget anything. Not yet. <laughs> we discovered we forgot straws, so we went and bought our straws. Oh, they don't give you they don't give you straws anymore in your, your drinks. They give you they give you like an edible. But sometimes, yeah, yeah. But, yeah, but um, 
Anyway, it's beautiful, isn't it? It is. It Absolutely is. beautiful. She was supposed to be on the Vista back in November for her Sweet 16. Oh, oh my she gosh. Still so, yeah. Yes. Yeah, so we'll go back on the breeze this time. We'll get to her eventually. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What time do you aboard? 10.30. We're AO5. So, Perfect. Yeah. You'll be on 10.40, 10.45. Yeah. I mean, you'll be... We do have to go through one COVID test. Yeah. Oh, trying to get the water. Oh, little man Hopefully it's here, quick. So, yeah. Hopefully it's quick. I've heard good and bad, yeah. so you never know. That's right. We're on the Vista. We're on the Vista this week, yep. We're ready. We're excited. Yeah, it's going to be fun. Because yep. oh, I think we were supposed to sail around the same Yeah, 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 yep, absolutely. I can imagine if we were, because we drove, so I was yes. like, can you imagine if we drove all the way and then all of a sudden something crazy happens? So I know. Yeah, we were wow. very grateful, at least we weren't in that situation, as disappointing as it was. Exactly, exactly. Well, good deal, y'all have a blast. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Have a great time, it's so good to meet you. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, hopefully, Enjoy. maybe one day, we'll be cruising together. Right. That'll yep. be absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Good deal. Take care. Good luck. Y'all have a blast, okay? I will. Thank you so, so much, okay? Thank you, thank you. The toss the line's over. Let me just tell you real quick. Let me turn this way so you can see me. What a blessing it is. Uh, that's a family that uh, they're Islanders. They're subscribers. They've had their challenges like anyone else. Uh, saw that I was saw that we were here, and wanted to come say hello, uh, just to say, hey, we follow you. We're part of the community. We love you, Lynn. Goodness gracious, thank you so much for that drink. I will, I promise you. And I'm sweating now. I'm le legit sweating. This shirt is gonna be done for the day here in a minute uh, when I get back to the room. Um, but for them to come, they saw I was out here and wanted to say hello uh, to me. That's what it's all about. It really is. Saying hello, putting faces with names. Uh, I'm humbled, uh, honored, and most importantly, blessed uh, to know people like you watching this video uh, who just want to uh, enjoy our hobby of cruising, uh, sharing tips, and being a family. Vista is they have they've tossed the lines they're still loose but they are pulling them I see them now good lord there are two guys I'm telling you right now they are they are pulling as hard as they can lean back wow 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 the pilot boat making its way back it's done its job they get a little break here for five or six hours before they have to help us get out of the port of Galveston Lines are getting tight though, how about that? How about that? Let's walk right over here. Right over here, right over here. So, I'm gonna wake up, wake Amanda up here in just a minute. She might be upset with me. Shade, oh my gosh. Shade, shade, shade. Get up Amanda, get up, get up, get up. So let me put it right here for one second. So I'm gonna end it here in just a second. Uh, I do need to recharge the battery for equipment and my phone. Um, this family's still here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk to them, see if I can uh, buy them a Starbucks if they'll let me. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. I so enjoyed seeing, uh, seeing the breeze come in, the Vista come in, being so close. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the experience. We are again, we're going to cover embarkation. We're going to cover sail away parties going to come live at you as long as we can bring it to you. We have, uh, we have a big day and we're going to cover it only like hopefully we can. Um, all of you who have, uh, donated or tipped us via super chat. I can't thank you enough. Um, you, you've bought a good drink for me today. I can tell you that. Amanda, she's got her massage. It's paid for. She's going to get a drink out of this money. I appreciate you for that. Jay, you are so welcome. Susan, you're welcome. Um, escaping Appalachia, we're going to have fun. Jimbo, hope you enjoyed it. Ronnie, 
we are. This is not goodbye. It's gonna be goodbye for now. Let's go charge everything up. Let's get some coffee uh, in us, some iced coffee. <laughs> and before too long, uh, we're gonna be dragging our bags. <laughs> Drew, can't wait to follow you along. Awesome. That's what it's all about. Before long, we'll drag our bags, and we're gonna keep you. Uh, I do have a battery pack. I do. I just gotta. I need more hands. <laughs> um, but I will keep everyone updated as we go throughout today. I hope you have a great morning, good, beautiful Saturday morning. I hope this started it off right. And uh, turn, if you haven't subscribed, why not? Yes, Jay, we are gonna walk over, just gonna walk over. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. When you subscribe, if you ring that bell, it will send you notifications when we upload new content, which most of the time is just videos, uh, cruise news videos, cruise tips videos. But if we go live, situations and events like this, it'll send you a notification. So you can see it live, we can interact. That's what it's all about is interacting. So please consider doing that if you have not. Until then, I will leave you with one more view of a nice aft. That is not it, this is it. And it looks like she is, see, she is secured and they're going to disembark very, very soon. Susan, thank you so much. They're fun because people like you are here. We will see all of you very, very, very soon. Sell away is four o'clock. We plan to go live uh, if it's if it's four o'clock and everything is scheduled, probably about 3.40, between 3.45 and four, we plan to go live. And that is it's every, if everything goes as scheduled, okay? But we will have another live before then talking about the embarkation process, okay? Thanks everyone so, so much. Uh, we will see you Islanders in just 